Hi. This is Janet Atwood. Janet Bray Atwood. Janet Bray Atwood. Welcome, Janet, Janet Bray to our Atwood. Janet Bray Atwood. Welcome to our little uh, web magazine, A Conscious Lifestyle. Yay! Thank you. Wonderful yeah. to be here. So uh, okay. we have you here today. What, what is it that we're, you'd like to talk about, or tell our audience about, or if you could share something with them that was profound, that's brief? What would that be? God, profound at seven fifteen in the evening after talking all day. Let's see. Can I <laughs> muster that up can somehow? Can I muster something? Call up that in. Can you get out of the way and let it come through? And I know you can. You have that gift. You have that awareness. You are adorable. You know that? You're so adorable. Okay, so yes, what would I like to share with everybody? Well, what I've been sharing all day. I mean, I, I, I share the same thing all over the world. Now, I have been actually living out of my suitcase for the last five months. I have not been home yet. Wow. Yeah, and uh, that, that's because the passion test has now become the number one tool being used all over the world to help people to align with the things that have greatest meaning for them. And the reason why it's doing so well is because serious, it's a system. You know, a system, the acronym for system is save yourself time, energy, and money. Mm. And the passion test, which is one exercise after the other, after the other, after the other, helps people to get crystal clear on the things that they choose to have show up in their life. So it's a process where we ask people to just drop into their heart and ask themselves, what do you love in the area of health? You know, if your life was ideal, what would what would it look like in the area of health, mm -hmm. relationships, education, career, environment, spirituality, giving, fun, you know, all these different areas. And what's been really amazing is that we had our best year this year. Oh really? Yeah, and we've been going for now over 10 years. What I'm seeing is a real change in consciousness. It's really clear as we're, as we're moving into 2012 mm -hmm. that people are really waking up, that they're seeing that money-based decisions, decisions just um, to bring home a paycheck, are not um, bringing them the fulfillment nor the support. So it's not just the fulfillment. Right. But it's also the support, and, and it's, you know, it's not doing it anymore. No, it's absolutely yeah. not. And people, um, you know, people oftentimes think, "Oh, yeah, passion." Yeah, right. Right. Because that word is so used, and yet, what many people don't realize until they're pushed into a corner and they're made to realize it. You know, maybe they get in a car accident, or they, or their right. health goes down, right. or they, their relationships fail because they aren't choosing in favor of the things that have greatest meaning. Or Bernie yeah. Madoff makes off with all their uh, their life yeah, savings exactly. and, and their children's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what most people don't realize is that, that choosing in favor of the things that have greatest meaning for them is very practical. It's very practical and very fundamental. Mm -hmm. You know, there is this book that we talk about all the time in the Passion Test, and we say it's our companion book. And it's called Success Built to Last. And in Success Built to Last, what the authors did was they went and interviewed over 200 highly successful people, like Lance Armstrong and President Jimmy Carter and Michael Dell from Dell Computer, and the list goes on and on. And what they found was that people who, that they had interviewed who had experienced enduring success, success for over 20 to 30 years, all of these people had made it a habit, and I thought that was a cool word, habit, mm. of choosing in favor of the things that had greatest meaning for them. Mm. Made it a habit of continuously choosing in favor of the things that had greatest meaning for them. And you know, so what I'd love to say to, to all of your readers mm -hmm. is that if you're not living a passionate life, then it's, it's time. Because it is your time, and it's actually time to reclaim your power. And when I say reclaim your power, why I say it like that is because the only thing that gets in the way of any of us living a passionate life are three things, but we say it's really one thing. False beliefs, false ideas, and false concepts. In other words, the thought of who am I to you know, be able mm -hmm. to live such an incredible life. Right, right. I'm not smart enough, right. I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not the right color, I'm not the right size, I'm not educated right. enough, I don't have enough money. 
yada yada, you know, and right. all these excuses. And when I say it's time to reclaim your power, I'm saying that because that's the mind speaking. And the mind is, is built to tell us, you know, no, you don't know, you can't do it, you know, to be that block. Mm -hmm. But now it's to, time for people... Or to people, put it off. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 And exactly, to procrastinate the right. heck out of their right. destiny. Right. Well, wait to get you get the best uh, of those uh -huh. things, then, yeah, no, you, then you can no, do it. After, <laughs> I, after I am practical, mm -hmm. right, and I save all my money, right. then yeah. I'll do the things mm -hmm. I love, right? right. right. Yeah, right. exactly. And We put our lives off. To, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's a total thing, but here's the thing. It's so important for every one of us to start, as many people are doing these days, because as consciousness rises, people are starting to realize that heart-based decisions are the decisions that are gaining and getting the support of nature in order for them to be able to live a passionate life, not many based decisions. It's the, I like to call it the do less accomplish more path, hmm. the path of least resistance. And I say that because my favorite quote in the passion test is what you love and God's will for you is one and the same. Hmm. What you love and God's will, meaning nature, higher power, the unified mm -hmm. field, whatever name you want to put to that energy that is greater than yourself, when you align with that energy, what are you aligning with? You're aligning with that, you're aligning with higher power. Mm -hmm. And when you align with that, that is the path of least resistance. That's when all the people, you start firing on all cylinders where the people, the places and the things, they start to show up to be able to support you in living the life that you were meant to live, living the life you were meant to live, living a life that is worthy of you. And you know, it's very interesting because not choosing in favor of one's passion is not, cho not choosing in favor of integrity. Hmm. And I, I, I say integrity because it takes great self-love, great self-love to be able to, number one, stop and step out of your busy life mm -hmm. and take the time to really ask oneself, you know, what is it that would turn me on? What is it that lights my fire? What would move my world to the end of my life? Right. Yeah. Today. And, and then it takes yeah. great self-love <clears throat> to consistently choose in favor of the things that you care most about. Hmm. You know, the secret to living a passionate life is whenever you're faced with a choice, a decision, or an opportunity, choose in favor of your passions. Hmm. And what you find, and what, it, what people are finding all over the world is that as they grow in courage, because that's what happens when you start to choose in favor of, of heart-based decision, heart-based passions, as one grows in courage, then they're able to take bigger steps and bigger steps and bigger steps in favor of really doing the things that light their fire. Mm -hmm. And why that's, it, why that's so important is because I was talking about it today in my program. We don't exist in isolation, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that uh, you know, I mean, physics talks about it. We try to. <laughs> yeah, we tried to. We build the walls. We we synthesized our reality exactly. to make it this thing, and then we've created money and we've done all this stuff to, and really we've separated ourselves from God Source. Totally. And, and that relationship with God Source, where abundance is our nature and thriving all around That's us. That's right. And we've yeah, so we do try to, but no, we aren't. No, and so what is that? What that means is that we are part and parcel of. The unified field. Would you mm -hmm. not agree? Yes, I would. The unified field. And so it's actually really important that each one of us starts to live our integrity by choosing in favor of the things that have greatest meaning for us so that we can play our part. I, I mean, and let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say I have a room full of 30 people that are in my program and pretend that they're the world, they make up the world. Sure and that they're this incredible orchestra in the world. If each one of those people were playing their instrument full out, then we'd have an incredible symphony, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. You know what this one girl said to me today, she said, you know, it's, she said it's so interesting to me to start to understand that living my passionate life is actually my, my gift to, to the rest of the world. 
and my gift because when I'm living my passions full out, then I come from a place of abundance. And when I'm coming from that place of abundance, everyone wins. What I'm talking about is that when we come from that place of abundance, mm -hmm. when we come from that place of abundance and we're giving our gifts to the world, and if you consider if, if each one of us in this symphony that I'm talking about were able to give their gifts to the world, we would have one amazing, amazing. song, yes. wouldn't we? I, we certainly yeah. would. And I'm sorry we have to cut this short, but okay. thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate seeing you again, and great Thanks news. That's good.